In the year 2007, nearly 33.2 million people were known to be infected with HIV. Of those people, almost 2.1 million died from AIDS. Only one out of five people are able to receive treatment, since oftentimes patients can't afford medication. With AIDS, victims are also stereotyped and discriminated against. However, all across the world, the work of volunteer organizations has brought some extreme improvements in the fight against the AIDS epidemic. In the United States, over 50,000 children are known to be infected with HIV. African Americans account for nearly 50% of those known patients infected with HIV living in the U.S. High rates of HIV have been found amongst individuals who sell sex in many different and diverse countries. This is due to the high number of sexual partners these people have. The factors that put sex workers at high risk also vary between countries. In some places, sex workers commonly use drugs and share needles. The overlap between sex work and injecting drug use is linked between the growing HIV epidemics in a number of countries, such as China, Indonesia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, Uzbekistan, and Vietnam. Studies often find higher rates of HIV infection among sex workers who inject drugs than amongst those who do not. In India, 8% of all sex workers are infected with HIV. China, 20% of sex workers are infected with HIV. Ethiopia, 68%. Zambia, 73%. And in St. Petersburg, Russia, 48% of all sex workers are infected with HIV. It reported 244,889 people in the U.S. contracted AIDS through the illegal use of intravenous drugs. Exposure to HIV AIDS is especially high in this group of people because of the practice of sharing drug needles. Drug users often share needles with fellow drug users. If one individual is infected with the virus, the rest of the people using that needle or other needles by that person are at high risk of exposure. Most users almost never properly sterilize their syringes and needles used. So often, clotted blood it will be left behind after a use. If blood in the syringe is infected with HIV AIDS, the next user will receive that blood when they use the needle. In Europe, the number of intravenous drug users contaminated rose from 3% to 15% in a three-year time span. In Russia, IV drug use is responsible for more than two-thirds of all HIV AIDS cases. Throughout the world, organizations set up fundraisers and conferences in order for the public to not only have awareness of AIDS, but to know how to prevent the spread of disease and look for a cure. On June 3, 2008, in Barstow, California, the San Francisco AIDS Foundation, along with the LA Gay and Lesbian Centers for HIV and AIDS programs, hosted a 545-mile bike race and raised $11.6 million for the fight against AIDS. In Russia, the Transatlantic Partners Against AIDS held a two-day conference on November 19th and 20th last month, educating journalists on reporting AIDS in the mass media to keep reminding everyone that AIDS is still a problem that needs attention. Other organizations are continuously fighting AIDS, raising money, and educating the public, including the World Health Organization, the United Nations, and the American Academy for HIV Foundations. Educating the public on AIDS has become essential in order to prevent the disease from spreading. Whether it's through media or in schools, health classes, everyone should know how the disease can be contracted and how treatments are available for the victims.